The series Into the Pink began when I moved to a house with pink walls and carpeting. I've never been much of a pink person, but in this circumstance I thought, why not embrace it? Especially now, I'm compelled to create in a visceral response to the world. I decided to allow myself the freedom of engaging the decorative as part of a sensual vocabulary. I scour for possibilities to access the tactile, from books, discarded and collected objects, and manipulating paint and mixed media. A new material for me is clay. I'm drawn to it as with many materials I use because it's fragile. There's an edge it takes me to. It's like this moment of vulnerability that makes me feel naked and real. There's also a kind of feminine protectiveness that comes through that seems innate. One idea that interests me is can abstraction and representation get at the same thing within one body of work? Doing one or the other seems somehow like not enough. In art school, I wanted to become a figure painter, and in a way I have. I've moved increasingly toward the objectness of painting. Inspiration comes from many sources, often from the natural world. It finds its way into the work. Peels, cookies, flower petals, shells, fabric and clay, fiber, fur, all of these comprise the work. Conversations, dreams, current events influence where the work takes me. The space for this installation included a towering bookshelf. At first I was overwhelmed, but I decided it was an opportunity with a deadline to get into high gear. It's a bit like a Joseph Cornell sensibility, collections of things I've noticed. A video of the natural world is another way into the pink. At some point I let go and let intuition guide me with choices about subject matter and materials to use. Sometimes I play with cliché imagery just to see what I can do with it to challenge myself. Underlying is a kind of survivalist mentality, despite what the world throws at you. I think for me, art is the greatest form of hope. I feel a bit like a visual anthropologist looking for sanctuary, maybe. Pink reminds me of the interior of things, like the body. Reflection is a kind of insistence on preservation of where the poetry lives. <laughs> 